Guten Tag, and hello. My name is Eve and I'm going to talk about activities you can do with your German tutor. So um, my boys are having a tea time with their German teacher today and a class would look like this. She would ask them, what does the tea smell like? How about the cup? Is the cup warm? Is the cup cold? Is the cup hot? Is there steam above the tea? And then she would continue on with the food. Like, tell me a little bit about the Triscuit. What shape is it? How many sides does it have? How many angles? Is it rough? Does it feel rough? Is it smooth? Is it salty? Is it crunchy? And just like, you know, the macaroon. Um, tell me about the macaroon. What shape is it? Um, what's, on, what's in the inside? Is it crispy on the outside? Is it soft on the inside? Um, is it chocolatey? Uh, what's the taste of this wafer here? Is it crispy? Um, tell me more about the taste. So should we go and talk about all these foods? And the children in German would be saying, you know, the cracker is crispy, it's a little salty, and then it becomes a little sweet. Um, you know, uh, the chocolate's brown, it is hard, it, you know, tastes chocolatey, it's smooth. And so she would talk about the texture, the taste, and so on, all in German. And then after this, they would probably do some sort of movement activity, like charades. Um, for young children, it's a really good idea to change the activity every 10 or so minutes, depending on uh, the, the attention span of your child. So um, doing some movement after, you know, all this would be great. Um, you can do, you know, the children usually act out like sad and then go like this and she's like, is that a sad octopus? And they're like, yeah, that's it. And then she would act out something and, uh, that, and then after they were done with that, they can move on to casual conversation. She could talk about like, what did you eat this morning? What did you do this morning? Or what did you do at lunchtime? What are you doing right now? Um, what are you doing later? Are you going to the park? Uh, are you going to build a sandcastle? Um, this is really great because she's talking about the past, the present, and the future. So the children are learning how to talk in all those ways, and that's super important. And then after that, they would probably move on to German math. You know, they would do addition, multiplication, division, depending on their skill level in math. Um, and then they would move on to toys. Like for instance, my children are really into gojitsu. So she would ask them, is this a good guy or a bad guy? Um, tell me about him. Is he funny? Is he sad? Is he angry? How many eyes does he have? What does your toy feel like? Can you stretch the toy? Like what can you do with it? Does he have, um, how many arms does it have? Does he have legs? Why doesn't he have legs? How does he move? Um, tell me more about his personality. Um, so just a lot of transition times, right? So we're constantly trying to transition so your child can use all their senses. And, you know, instead of just sitting down the whole time, they can move because children need movement every so often. So those are my um, tips for you today. Keep your lessons short to begin with and then gradually make them longer. And engage all their senses you know smell taste listening and all that so i hope all these tips are useful Dankeschön. tschüss